Hello everybody! So today we're going to be learning a little bit about the Makeup Forever Flash Palette that looks like this. I'm going to be doing my, basically my whole makeup with it. Um, so we're going to do foundation, concealer, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lips with it. Um, so you know, we'll just we'll see how that goes. This is what it looks like. It has all kinds of different colors in it and two of them are shimmery over here and the rest are all just kind of without any shimmer at all. So if you're wondering what this is, this is just cream colors. And what you can do with these is mix them to use them for anything you want, basically. They are water resistant, in my opinion, but they're not waterproof by any means. You will definitely need to set these if you're using them as a liner or whatever. The reason why I wanted to do a tutorial on this is because I really, truly believe that this is an awesome product for somebody who's looking to build their kit, or just for somebody that doesn't want to spend a ton of money on every single makeup product that there is out there. It's gonna seem a little bit contradictory because the kit itself is a little bit expensive. I think it's about $100 or something like that. Not too sure, I haven't looked it up. So let's just get right into it. So I'm just starting to mix my foundation and here I have a little bit of the brown, a little bit of the white, a little bit of pink, and this tiniest, tiniest amount of green. So when I mix that all together, I get this nice kind of dark brown color that's way too dark for my skin tone, which is perfect. So I'm just going to be applying that foundation all over my skin in downward strokes and then dabbing. In my foundation tutorial, a lot of people were asking me why I wear a darker foundation instead of doing tanning and stuff like that. Um, and like, aside from cancer, the difficulty for me with tanning or using self-tanners or whatever, which I have done in the past and I'll maybe do a review on my favorite self-tanners, is that your skin tone is constantly changing. And that's kind of the trouble with tanning as opposed to just, you know, changing my foundation color slightly. Not slightly at all. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of our same mixture that we mixed earlier for the foundation. And I'm just going to apply it in the places where I need a little bit more coverage as concealer. I just added a little bit more of the white and peach color to it so that it's going to neutralize the colors under my under eyes a little bit better. We're going to move on to contouring, and for this I mixed a little bit of the brown and a tiny bit of the white. So you know how in the other contouring video I was like, I never contour my nose. I realized I'm a liar. I'm pretty sure I always contour my nose. So, you know, sorry for that moment of betrayal. So now I'm just going to use the palette to highlight a little bit. I mixed a color using white, peach, and yellow to create kind of a nice little, you know, peachy white person color, which should actually be my foundation color, if we're being honest. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just blending that out by, again, our little dabbing motion here. My battery died, see my face, not impressed. So I just mixed a little bit of the coral and gold colors to create a nice little shimmery pink blush thing. Let's use that. I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of the cheeks, working my way up towards the temple. And I'm just using our dabbing motions again to kind of blend that out a little bit. Not kind of, we're gonna blend it out entirely, if that's cool. If that's cool with you, it's cool with me. Yeah, mauve. I just freaking put my hand all in this. And then depression set in. God damn! So I'm just using a little bit of the concealer color we mixed earlier, and I'm gonna use that as an eye primer. And uh, I don't know how well this works yet, so don't quote me on this. And 
And I'm just going over that base with a lightly colored eyeshadow. I just mixed a little bit of the dark blue and a little bit of the light blue colors to create this liner that I'm going to do. And I'm just going to go over that with a little bit of a bright eyeshadow in the same color. So next I'm just using the light blue color and I'm just going to apply that underneath as a little bit of an eyeshadow base. And I'm just going over top of that with a powder eyeshadow. That's just way too big of a brush. I'm just being ridiculous. Ah. So I just applied my false lashes, which I'm not going to include a clip of because it was f***ing absurd trying to get my glue to work. Maybe I will include a clip of it. So I ran out of lash glue, so I just went to Walmart to pick up just like whatever. And um, this is the lash glue I got. It's like Lash Grip by um, Ardell. And so it wasn't coming out of the tube, and I was like, what the f*** is going on here? And um, I cut open the tube, and it is just literally just a solid. What the hell is this? <laughs> Um, but anyways, now I'm just applying my colored mascara on the bottom. I just quickly applied my brows using my regular brow products. You could potentially use the flash palette for this, but I can't cheat on my girl Anastasia. Brows are looking a little large and in charge today. Hmm. We'll roll with it. So I just mixed a little bit of the fuchsia, a little bit of the yellow, and a little bit of white to create this lip color. So that's everything. Let me know what you guys thought of this tutorial in the comments below and try it out. Let me know how it works for you. See you next time. If there is a next time, there will be. I'm just trying to be mysterious. I see uh, someone made a little Instagram post with the uh, stupid faces I make in my videos. That's cool. Yeah, no, that's totally cool. I just like to call that betrayal at its finest.